And let me be clear. We reject the ICC's application for arrest warrants against Israeli leaders. Whatever these warrants may imply, there is no equivalence between Israel and Hamas. And it's clear Israel wants to all, do all it can to ensure civilian protection. But let me be clear. Contrary to allegations against Israel made by the International Court of Justice, what's happening is not genocide. We reject that. We always stand with Israel and, and the threats against its security. I know today's reception falls on hard times. The trauma of October 7th and its aftermath of the deadliest day the Jewish people have undergone since the Holocaust is still fresh and ongoing in many, with many of you. We have parents of someone being held hostage right now, and we're, we're going to get them home. We're going to get them home, come hell or high water. And my commitment to the safety of the Jewish people, security of Israel, and its right to exist as, as an independent Jewish state is ironclad. We stand with Israel to take out Sinwar and the rest of the butchers of Hamas. We want Hamas defeated. We work with Israel to make that happen. And consistent with Jewish values and compassion, kindness and dignity and human life, my team also is providing critical humanitarian assistance to help innocent Palestinian civilians who are suffering greatly because of the war Hamas, Hamas has unleashed. It's heartbreaking. As we do this, we're also committed to bring the region together to work toward a two-state solution that provides security, prosperity, and enduring peace for Israel and Palestinians.